Hi, my good people. Welcome again back to Smart Investment Consultants. We have deal um, with all issues that are related to uh, tax management and uh, also business registration. Today we are going to look at something which is a bit trading, which maybe people have not got a right understanding of it, and is known as eatings. Probably you have heard about eatings as a business person, as a professional. Uh, but maybe you don't know how to go about it. Today we are going to break it down and show you. If you need to generate a, an invoice that uh, is e-team compliance, where do you generate it in your e-citizen account? So first thing, what you want to understand for e-team, which stands for Electronic Tax Invoice Management System, is that it was brought by the Finance Act of 2023. And uh, maybe just to break it down, what it means is that uh, initially, when you wanted to reduce your tax obligations, you used to uh, insert the expenses you have undergone maybe to sell a certain product, for example, or to give a certain um, service. I'll give an example for someone who is in professional service. Maybe you are a trainer. So after you have done your training, the person who is paying you deducts 5% withholding tax. In real sense, you are supposed to pay 30% of your taxes. Eh? But what you have been doing is, you have been uh, inserting uh, what we call expenses and trying to see if it is balanced. But um, what these uh, tax came to, or the Finance Act came to change is that for that expense to be allowed by KRE for you to be able to claim for that expense. So that if your tax was 2000 eh, for you to be able to say I had gone one, two, three expenses and now in 500, the kind of those expenses must have passed through the KRE system and that is where ETIM schemes about, came about. And so anybody who is owning a business and want to carry a business with you will ask you to provide an uh, ETIMS compliant invoice. So there are various ways you can be able to upload uh, or you can be able to onboard yourself as shown here. First one uh, is um, because they said they even want even mama boga so that when you say uh, you bought lunch for your workers, for example, it is uh, you can be able to obtain that invoice. So you can dial on your phone star 342 hash. It will give you the prompts to be able to register yourself. And actually, you can be able uh, to generate uh, your invoice there. There is this second way that we are going to look in broad is through eCitizen. You can register on eCitizen and actually generate an invoice from there. There is the third one uh, that is if you are dealing with POS, the KRE can be able to come to your business location and integrate uh, your POS uh, with eTeams. What happens in the in the third one, because I'm not going to repeat about it, is for example, one of your um, expense can be fuel. So anytime you 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 visit um, a petrol station and uh, you you have you want to fuel your car and um, you want that receipt or you want that invoice so that you can be able to claim uh, this expense, always make sure as you purchase. You provide your pin so that they can be able to 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 input your pin as one of the person they have sold to same case to supermarkets or buying points that uh, you are buying goods maybe for your business you really need her to provide that but i've got the second way which uh, is easiest uh, for all of us how you go about it so you you'll be able to go uh, to your um, e-citizen account just log into your eCitizen account, and once you log in, eh, you will be able to come to to this uh, uh, tab here for KRE. Uh, once you come to this tab for KRE here, you will um, just sign in. So just allow me to sign in. So when you're signing, you, ju you just use your um, e-citizen credentials. Eh? So one, one thing you'll notice about it is if you have a registered business, 
whether it's a limited company or um, is your personal business name, then it will be able to appear here and it is upon you to be able to choose uh, which account you want to use when you, you are issuing the invoice. So you log in, I log in with my personal account there and say proceed. So um, I'll just go, you can see my personal account is here with my PIN and you can also see because I have a registered business name which uses my personal PIN, it's also here. So it's upon me to, to choose which one I want to use. Maybe for now I can go to, to my personal account. Eh? So um, once I'm here, you can see um, how the dashboard looks like. So I want to issue someone an e-teams compliant uh, invoice. So what do I do? When you're issuing an invoice, it means that you have you, you have generated or you are, the, you, are, you are the one who have sold something, be it a, a good or a service. So I'll come here straight to sales. Then I'll come to uh, invoice. You can see the invoice is here. Then uh, if I had issued in any other invoice, we'll be able to see it here. Maybe that is what I want. I can be able to view. We'll come back to that. But if I want to create uh, a new invoice, I'll just come to here, create. Then what happens when you come to customer name? Eh? Uh, so the first thing is that on this invoice here, there is the invoice logo. So if you have a logo of your company, you can be able to put it here so that uh, when it goes on the other end, it must be a photo that you can really see. When it goes to the other end, they can be able to see the logo of your company. Then once we come here, if you have ever issued an invoice with any other person, it will appear here. If you have never um, issued an invoice, you will be able to type the your pin here. You can be able to, to come and say, if you have never issued a certain person with a, for those, you can see my customers, eh? these are people I have issued invoice to. For those I have never issued, I will come and click on add new. Then you use the KRA. Um, once you use the KRA, you can be able to, to post uh, or to input the KRA pin here. So you must be having the KRA pin. Let me just use mine. Then you click on validate. Once you click on validate, uh, you'll be required to input the phone number here. So let me just input the phone number. Then you can just click add. So you see the uh, information has already appeared here, the uh, billing address, but you can be able to change that. Uh, for tax, you just set it to be non It stands for default. Then um, you come to the type of add note. If there is anything that you need to describe, you can add here. So when you come now to how you want your invoice look like, this is where you'll be coming at item details. Eh? Then you'll be clicking add item. Uh, then you come, if you have an inventory, inventory is for those people who have repetitive products, they have uploaded their products online, they can be able to select from there. If you don't have any, you can just come here and select or input. Maybe you did a training for this person. You just write a training for description. Maybe let's say full conference. So you just describe whatever you are giving them. Then um, how much per unit cost? So it could be if it's item is one, two, three, could be if it's a service, maybe you are training for three days or you are counting according to the number of hours. So you just input how much, maybe per day you are charging 12,000. Eh? So you put 12,000 here, and maybe you did this work for 10 days. So you can add and see how it looks like. You can see how now my, how the, the, the description here looks like. The product is training, description is conference, then uh, quantity is 10, then uh, per unit cost was 12,000, and therefore uh, I need 120,000 from this per person. If there is any type of 
Um, for example, if you are providing discount, you can put here so that you can be able to get the total. Uh, when you come down here, there are terms and conditions. You see, in every invoice, maybe you see the payment should be done before this date or something. You can add there. If any other attachment you need to do, you can also add it on attachments. Then you come to the payment method. How do you want these people to pay you? Do you want cash? You can see cash is already protected. If not, you can come to add payment details. So when you click where is written and paste, you can see others. Do you want a check? Do you want a bank transfer? You can choose any. If not, it can be send money and you provide your phone number. It can be that you have a pay bill, just put the details, or you have a till number, maybe it's 77, P21, and then you once you are, you are satisfied with the method you want them to pay you with, you can click there and you can see your billing information automatically disappears there. So maybe once you are satisfied with what you want, you are, um, you want your invoice to look like, you can come if you are, you don't want the person to receive on the other end, you can just save. So when you save, it means you have not sent to the other person. When they log into their e-citizen, they cannot be able uh, to see that too. But if maybe you want them, if they log into the KRAT or if they log into your, um, uh, to the, uh, if they log into the, um, sorry, if they log into the e-citizen, they will be able to, to see the invoice. You can save and send. You just want to, generate and you send it to them, you just click on save and uh, the invoice will automatically be saved. So like if we go back to what we had um, made here, maybe I can cancel this for now. So we can come back to, to what we had changed here. Let me come back here to invoice. So like this one we had generated here, if you have a look of, or, or a view of it, so this is how the, the invoice will look on the other head. And um, if you want to, to get a click, a, good, a better view, you can, you can just save your PDF. And uh, when you go, you can see like I had tried to, in, to input um, my, my logo, the logo will appear here. Then of course, it has a, certain number here that is generated by KRA, you can see it here. Then you can see whoever the invoice is coming from, whoever it is going to, the amount you are demanding from them. And you see down here, it is certified that it is e-citizen generated. So basically that's how you, you are able to generate that invoice. Uh, it's very simple and also to become compliant because as we move on now as KRA, when they say that all expenses must be valid through it it will be difficult to do business with some of these companies uh, if they are not uh, e teams compliant so i hope this video is helpful my number is on the bio in case uh, you need to know more about taxes if you need a training about taxes if you need a help on this we are always um, available uh, to to assist you so i hope this video helps you and i hope with that you are able also to like our video, you're able to subscribe to our channel to learn more, and you're even able to share to your friends. Thank you.